Today's episode is four qualities to becoming a demon on the court. All right, everyone wants to know how to become a demon, whether it's on the street ball court, um, you know, on your high school team, college, pro. I've done it at all levels, literally pro, college, high school, prep school, elementary school, um, street ball, everything. And these are the four things that I've broken down for you guys. Number one is you have to be athletic. All right. If you don't, ha if you're not athletic right now, if you don't have it, that's why you join this program. That's why you join me. I think being athletic, honestly, is the best thing that you could possibly do because then everything else becomes easier. The IQ aspect of it, easier. Um, making the right reads becomes easier. Dribbling becomes easier. Uh, finishing becomes easier, right? You can get those and ones. You can start dunking on people. You can start blowing by people. Defense definitely becomes easier. Um, and the other thing is like, if you're a fatter person, if you're a bigger person, this program can morph you into becoming jacked, into becoming athletic. If you're skinny, the nutrition, the workouts, all that stuff will morph you into becoming a bigger, stronger specimen type athlete. And then if you're, you know, if you're, if you're a stronger guy, if you're big, you're just unathletic, the program will become, will make you more athletic. It'll get you, uh, like I said, quicker, more agile, stamina, all of that. So that's step one to becoming a demon, in my opinion. Anyone is welcome to challenge that. I love talking about it. But in my, you know, days playing college D1, or sorry, D2, playing against D1 guys, uh, playing pro, being athletic was a cheat code for me. That's the only reason why I played where I did. If I wasn't athletic, I don't think I'd be able to play there. Um, number two, bro, to everybody is discipline, all right? The most disciplined guys are the ones who see the most success in these workouts and just in general. So I know a guy like Sam, he goes into the gym like every single day and he does the right things. He doesn't just go and shoot a thousand shots. He doesn't go to the gym. He doesn't just like do a normal workout, right? He puts in 30 minutes of air vert training three times a week, the other six days. And correct me if I'm wrong, Sam, later on, but I, I'm pretty sure like I know your schedule, but you know, six times a week, you're going into the lab and you're, and you're hooping with the right things, whether it's like 300 makes, um, doing the right handle workouts, doing the right finishing workouts that I've been helping you and coaching you with. Um, yeah. but that discipline right there is what gets guys to see progress, right? So, um, I'm going to give you all an example. If you do the workouts, you follow the nutrition, you do the stretching. Um, the moment you become disciplined in those three things on this program specifically, there's no reason why you won't see results. And I'll give you a quick, another quick example, a guy named Mike. I always use him as my favorite example. He did the workouts. He did the air vert workouts, uh, three times a week. He, did somewhat of the nutrition and he kind of followed the stretching. He wasn't disciplined on all three stances, right? And he goes to me like within the first month, he's like, yo, like I'm not dunking, I'm pissed. What the hell, it doesn't work. The next month I said, all right, I'm gonna coach you through it then, watch what happens. I, I put him, I, 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 we were disciplined as fuck. I said, yo, three times a week, we're working out. You're gonna follow this nutrition plan exactly how I say. You're gonna stretch and recover exactly how I say. Within that next month, he's like, man, I'm sorry for freaking out. I got my first dunk. And John, who's actually in this chat right now, he has the clips. I literally just sent Mike's clips today um, of his dunk progress. And since he was disciplined, since he actually followed the stuff, he saw progress. You have to be disciplined. You have to do the right shit. The next thing, and there's two more. So make sure y'all are writing this down or like taking it in. And again, it'll be on YouTube. Being coachable. Can I add something when it comes to you saying about uh, discipline? Yeah, 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 go ahead. So when it comes to being disciplined, I feel like Airvert, Airvert makes it like I'm not the smartest person. Like, don't like, you know, like school wise. Yeah, I'll do OK. But like, you know, out of school, it's like, you know, I'm just like everyone else. Airvert structures your workouts where you don't go into the gym questioning what you're going to do. I don't go into the gym twice a day, three times a day thinking, all right, so I just did shooting. What am I going to do now with Airvert? You have your handle packages. You have your stretching, your recovery. You could even spend half an hour on recovery as well to get your body right. And then your shooting workouts. So whenever I'm there, I'm never questioning, you know, handles, shooting, um, the jumping program. I'm never questioning it. So I feel like if people get, if more people get on it, they'll start to realize with the platinum package, at least you're not guessing anymore. And it's just strict discipline. You know what you're doing every time. It's like it's not a complicated formula is what he's trying to say like it's really really easy you just have to be like literally just you can't be lazy right that's the biggest yeah, thing yeah that's just the end audit read <laughs> <laughs> real shit <laughs> yeah um the third step to becoming a demon on the court wherever it is is be coachable right 
I'm not the most coachable person. I have a strong personality. A lot of coaches used to get in fights with me and stuff like that. There's a lot of funny stories for another time, but I did listen to my coaches. That's the bottom line. I did listen to them and I did respect them. And I, I learned from them. I took their best traits and I learned from them. So what I'm saying here is if you're coachable on this program, if you DM me, if you DM me you know, with any help you have, any help you want, any uh, workout structures you guys want, if you DM me your progress, if you DM me where you're at right now, if you're active in the Discord, if you want to get better, literally, it, it's just being coachable is wanting to get better. If you're a guy like Sam who wants to get better, you're gonna get better. If you don't wanna get better, that's where you always see the top prospects in the, in the country, they often get beaten later on by the underdogs because the underdogs are working and those star players are slacking because they're comfortable, right? And they don't wanna be coached because they're prima donnas, right? And at a time, I thought I was a prima donna, shit didn't work out for me. My dad said, yo, you're gonna miss the boat here if you don't become coachable and learn. So DM me with your progress, DM me with any questions you have. Be active in the Discord, like a lot of these guys are. I know players probably in this chat right now. Uh, Evian comes to every single call. Those are the type of guys that are gonna see progress because they're coachable, right? That's the point. Uh, like, use this program, but not only use this program. Like, if I were y'all, I would abuse this program. I'd be like, yo, MK's giving me a program for $25, $75, bucks, 100 bucks one-time fee, I'm gonna abuse this. I'm gonna use it whenever I want. I'm gonna, help, I'm gonna get his help whenever I please, right? That's what I would do because when I was younger, I didn't have something like this and that's why I'm giving it to y'all. Now, the number four thing, and then we're gonna get straight into questions, anything y'all have, is goals. If y'all don't have goals, then you're never gonna become a demon because you're just gonna be where you're at right now, right? So for the end of the year, it's the perfect time to talk about this. And for y'all, young guys, whoever's young in here, you might be like, ah, I've heard this before, goals, goals. Real talk, set your goals because I was chilling in my dorm room two years ago. I set a goal to actually have Airvert worldwide, thousands of members. Um, I had a goal to blow up on social media. I had a goal to make a million dollars. And let's just say that the goals I strived for, the goals I wrote down on paper, I achieved, right? I achieved those because I wrote them down on paper. Now, if you guys want to succeed in that, you need to set your own goals, whether it's to end this year and then in January, write those goals down for what you want to achieve next year. Because um, if you have the goals for the end of those years, guaranteed you're going to shoot for the stars and like that stupid quote is, you're going to land somewhere among the moon, right? And it's actually real talk. Like if you set a goal to be able to dunk by the end of, uh, let's say, February, you could be closer. You might, you might not be dunking, but it might be March, right? So as long as you write that down on paper, as long as you get that in your head and set a goal, you're going to achieve it, right? So I think that's the biggest thing for anybody. Uh, those are the four qualities to becoming a demon, not only on the court, on the field, on the ice rink, in life in general, because I just named making a million dollars, I just mentioned airvert and I mentioned my own basketball stuff. Those three things aren't even on the court, right? Those three things are things that like just all across the board. So you guys might have goals in one of those things, but the main thing is write them down. All right. So Sam, if you want to chime in on anything, I know you have a player's perspective and a younger guy's perspective, especially to relate to these guys. I'll let you do that. And I will let you guys know real quick before uh, we get into questions. We're live on YouTube. Um, or it's going live on YouTube, so don't do any stupid shit, you know, but I'm, I'm happy to answer all you guys for however long it takes. So Sam, go ahead real quick. So I feel like what was the last section was, uh, remind me, what was it? Goals, goals. Goals. So one thing with goals is for myself as well. I, I have a goal. I have a little goal book. So I, I write down everything that I want to achieve, you know, whether that's academic wise parent wise, you know, helping my mom out, helping like, you know, stuff like that. But all of those goals intertwine when it comes to staying disciplined, because you look, you look at them every morning, you're like, okay, I'm about to get this workout in this workout, out, this workout in, and it's all building up to my goals. Okay, academic wise, you know, I want to get 80s in all my classes, so I can keep hooping. So then I can have offers open. I've been accepted to all my college programs, thankfully, because I kept my academics priority. And then I had so much free time to do, you know, all my workouts to structure everything to get onto Airvert. Because realistically, the 28 people that are in here, you and I aren't far. I'm only 17. I'm a senior in high school. I'm about to be going to college next year. 
I was, I think I was in here, it, frick, man, it was probably like a month ago now, actually, was like the first like real month I was in here talking, like trying to absorb as much knowledge as he said. Like when it comes to being able to soak everything up after a one-time payment, a little bit of convincing from my dad because he sees that I have that work ethic. MK saw that I have that work ethic. Everything from there just goes on and on. Like I'm texting MK, fuck, I don't even know, like three, four times a week usually. I'll get on a FaceTime with him. I'll ask him questions in order to grow. I'll let him talk a little bit more about how much I've reached out to him and how much, I guess, work I'm putting in now, but is more to come. And he'll be able to just explain a little bit more. Yeah, your, your discipline and your goals are intertwining and that's why you're achieving your goals. The discipline is definitely there. And for, for like in complete honesty, the reason why I haven't answered y'all on FaceTime or message or DM is because some of y'all haven't shown me that you're serious enough, right? So, you know, Evie and Hooper in here, he always comes to the call and he DM me right when he won his free program, right? He messaged me, he was on top of things, he was disciplined, right? So I'm not gonna go too much into talking anymore. I want to answer whatever y'all have for me. So I'm going to get Sam to just, if y'all want to raise your hand in the, uh, to get on stage and, and ask something, y'all go ahead. Um, Yo. What's good? Oh, can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? Uh, this is James, you know, the guy who mostly talks to you about, um, you know, social media stuff, right? Yes, sir. Of course. So the thing is, my, my first question is actually, let me put my headphones in. One sec. Sounds good. He's got the best, uh, he, he's got the best skits in the game. He's, he's nice with it. Yeah, you need a second one of them. All right, can you all hear me now? Yes, sir. Okay, so my first question is, yeah, it is about social media, right? So the thing is, all right, so what I realize is this. Whenever I post, right, and when I don't check the views within like the first few hours and stuff like that, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok and stuff like that, it usually does really good and stuff like that. Because thing is, like, I would say, yeah, because I do have confidence in the video that, you know, like, watching it and stuff like that, when, I, when I'm about to post it, like, I do have confidence it's going to do good and stuff like that. Because thing is, like, like, I have confidence it's going to do, it deserves to do good, right? So, therefore, like, I don't even check the views. Therefore, it does good, right? But if I do decide to, like, check the views, I mean, or if I, yeah. But if I do check the views, right, constantly after I post it, it usually does not do the best, if anything. So the thing is, and by the way, I, I've talked to J Dub about this. He says like he never even checks about he never even checks the views, right? Yes, like, sir. Or maybe if he just that's only like once, right? So what's your advice on you know like not checking the views? Like don't give in and check the views. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro, that's a huge question. Anyone who's approaching the social media realm, whether you're watching this video afterwards or you're in this chat right now. Um, so me and my, my uh, lead content editor and creator and partner and everything is actually in this call right now. Uh, he, mm -hmm. his name's John and we run everything when it comes to MK. We have another page and we have another page. So I've noticed the same thing, bro. Um, when, when we post a Snapchat um, discovery page story, when we post a TikTok, when we post an Instagram story, when we post a YouTube video, if you just log off, and vice versa, you know, you go on Instagram and you check your notifications. My notifications are always at 100 comments, 100 followers, 100 likes, because I don't check that shit. I don't care. There's two, there's two ends of it. There's one, the performance end of it. When you constantly check, my theory is that when you go into Snapchat and you check every second, if a, if a video is vi being viewed, or if you go to YouTube and you, you check it every single second, I swear it tracks you or I swear that it sees you doing something because we've noticed whenever we go in and check the Snapchat performance, the more we check, the, the more it slows down. Now, the less we check, we check it like a day after, two days after, that shit starts to rile up, like hitting 500,000 views, million views, right? And the, yeah. same go and the same goes with the comments. The more um, and John is going to hop in here on the stage as well. The more you check your comments, the more negative they might be, right? And when you see negative comments, it gets you down, it gets you this, it gets you that. So my main advice is you make a good piece of content, number one. Number two, I saw you tag J-Dub in it and say, thanks J-Dub for the collab. That's not needed. That's not needed because you are your own guy. You don't need to thank him on a post. Thank him behind the scenes because it's your post, right? You're taking away from the entertainment yeah. of that post right? Post it. It's a good piece of content. Have confidence in it and then leave it and then focus on your next piece of content. Because the reason why Airvert has grown to, I don't know, what do we have now? Almost 9,000 members, 13,000 followers on Instagram. We're at almost 50K on TikTok is because I just post. 
I don't care. I don't look at how many followers we're getting. I don't look at the comments. I don't look at the post does good because the moment you do that, you get down on yourself, ever winding circle, right? I'll let John chime yeah. in real quick about that. Appreciate that, guys. Uh, I'm John. Like my case said, I, I help him with everything like, from content creation to just managing everything. Uh, um, the main thing that we found that's been really successful with us uh, has been, yeah, like MK said, just like not really checking in on that standpoint because it's, you, you gotta get, you, when you check the likes and you check, when you kind of do it for like, you know, the views, the likes, the comments, all that kind of stuff, then you kind of start to lose traction of what got you doing this stuff in the first place, which is yeah. you know, creating like good content, right? So I think if you focus more on just creating the content and like let the other things kind of take care of itself on the outside, you'll be straight. But once you kind of get in your own head, once you start getting some views and like likes and all that kind of stuff, you start getting into your own head. You start really trying to make the content for those activities, right? Where you know, then it becomes okay. Well, now it's no longer like what you want to do. So I think it's always just kind of like getting into that frame of mind of, all right, I dropped it. So you think it's great? If you think it's great, then it is what it is. Um, drop it. People will react to it. People will engage with it. You know, that's kind of the way things are with the social media platforms. But it's really just on to the next one because. You know, you don't want to get sidetracked because really, I guess the name of this game is really just like producing, right? It's producing as much content as possible. Most content typically is the one that is getting the most, you know, the eyeballs and he's getting views and all that kind of stuff. So if you're, if you're focusing on just making the best product as possible and produce as much as possible, you know, you'll, you'll be straight at the end of the day. Yes, sir. For sure, man. Yeah, the thing is like for me personally, I just do the videos that, you know, I want to do, the videos that I have the most fun with. And the videos that I enjoyed most, that's what I do and stuff like that. Because things like what got me into it was like what, like many months ago, I, I did a Derrick Rose, you know, like, you know, those NBA player be like videos, like I did one on Derrick Rose, right? I had like the most fun fucking time of my life, right? And ever since then, I decided to start doing it and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's, well, that's what it comes down to. That's how we really started. Like the first part takeover we did, I remember we didn't even really think about it. We just kind of got a mic, a camera, and we just were like, all right, we'll just, we'll just have some fun with it. Last so it was minute. my first time picking up a camera. It was his first time putting on a mic and actually recording the basketball game. But we honestly had a blast. And to be honest with you, we, we just pushed the content out on YouTube thinking that, okay, well, let's, let's, let's see what this could do for us. But never at one point were we really like, all right, we got to really just like go hard on the views. Like it just kind of naturally happens. So exactly, I think you kind of yeah. start with that sort of frame of mind and going into it, doing something that you love, like Matt loves to play basketball. You know, I also kind of fell in love with filming and having a passion with editing. So it just kind of became like a natural fit and it never really started to feel like work, right? Even right now, yeah, it never yeah. feels like work at all. Like when we were kind of just going through, going through tours and like doing the, you know, doing filming, editing, all that kind of stuff. It just, it just kind of feels like a little bit still of a hobby, right? We're getting, we're getting to do what we like to do. So exactly. I think if you just keep that sort of frame of mind and you make sure that you always kind of check yourself to you know make sure that like all right i'm doing this because i like to do it i'm not doing this because you know i'm trying to impress to get club. whatever whatever um then you'll be straight i said one more question it's about vertical jump right so the thing is like i have some other vertical jump exercises right um it usually works on the one two step and it usually works on your speed right should i do it like on the same day that i do the airbird workouts or should i do it another day is it a workout is or is it a tip or is it like a going out it's, oh, it's just like a few drills and that's it. I mean, if that's a drill that you think works and you've tried it and it's proven, then go ahead. My program is result-based, result-driven. That's all I care about is getting results, right? And I get it. And, and someone, someone commented in here a few hours ago. He said, I don't want any smart answers. I want real answers. And that's the realest you're going to get with me. I'm not going to tell you to go do Vertimax and do backflips and do cartwheels and do this and go on the... Uh, water massager like I don't I don't believe in none of that scientific bullshit my dad and I created this program because it's down to the nitty-gritty it's exactly what you need it's exactly what works and that's why we see results so quick so if you feel like it works go ahead but the program by itself between my coaching like technique coaching and uh, the program it'll work bro whatever whatever you feel all right for sure no one last thing I want to say before I go is that I'm going I'm to DM you on Instagram about some personal art. Right? Yeah, I got you, bro. I'll be there uh, I'll, I'll be there right after this. All right, for sure. I appreciate you, love, bro. I got you, bro. Easy. Let's get player in here, Sam, if you can. Uh, uh, I got, I don't know if you want to answer Jaden's question now or if you yeah. have to wait for it. Uh, we'll, we'll answer uh, player first and then Jaden will come in here. What's I good? Just, I kind of just added myself up. <laughs> <laughs> what's good, player? What's good, what's good, man? But, um, Jacali, I ain't really had a question. I just like, I noticed that nobody's not really answering questions. So I'm like, 
I kind of like I'm my own question for like the youth. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so like my question like goes to Sam about like when it comes to like school and like how you maintain like your school, like your academics, like with basketball too. Like how you mix it up, like still like for me, like do good in both. How do I maintain? Honestly, here a little bit of backstory on me. So when I was in grade nine, ten, and eleven. I was a 50 student my entire high school. Like I did, like I didn't give a damn about like no schoolwork. I seen it. I was like, nah. Like I, I ain't really trying to do all that. But honestly, it's like my grade 12 year, which is now. This was like the real big flip because for me, it's a make or break year. You know, I, do I want to go to college? Do I want to pursue my aspirations, my dreams? This is what really kept me in focus. But even even out of that, I think that the biggest thing for me is I I want to. I want to see me be successful when I'm older. And I think Matt, Matt's told me this before. It's like, you got to do what you have to do now before you, you get to do what you want to do. So whether that's, you know, taking that hour to do that schoolwork. All right, I'm going to just do this quick little hour, get this shit done and move on. Now I can do what I want to do instead of procrastinate. Because I know what it was like to procrastinate. Like I was failing my classes. I was doing all that. When I was in online in grade 10, I was, <laughs> I was squeezing in a whole like half of a like English course in one day because it was due you know the next day so when i really just compared like where where i was before how i felt to now with all the freedom i have and being able to prioritize everything i'm grateful that i did the work now instead of you know right at the last minute hopefully that you know answered your question it goes back to discipline bro just getting that work done right a, a procrastination it's not going to allow you to do all the little stuff like becoming a college athlete or you know doing what you want to do and what you call I got like um like for everybody in this call or watching on YouTube like like answer like answer questions bro cause like, I ain't gonna lie I wish like I wish this was around when I was like a little bit young I'm 18 right now but like yeah y'all gotta like keep asking questions bro cause this is really helpful the like, biggest thing is like people are scared to ask questions you know if I was younger yeah. I would kind of be intimidated to ask a question even if it was like yeah, say, yeah. cause you know it's a little bit embarrassing even if you know some you might think it's a stupid question but the bottom line is is like I'm going to be the last one to judge you about a question. I've heard the stupidest shit. I've heard the funniest shit. I've heard whatever it is, right? We have, we have Habibi Jordan come in here every, every week and make a joke, right? It's like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you ask. So like all the youngins, like players said, that's facts, bro. I really appreciate you. You're becoming a mentor to a lot of these guys. It's, it's valid. Yeah, for sure. Let's get, um, uh, let's get Evie and Hooper in here real quick. We'll go to Jaden, W Riz, and then we'll end the call. All right, bet, bet, bet. What's good? What's good, Evian? You good? That boy is muted. He, he's always he's always muted. He always gotta take like five seconds. Then when he comes, he's straight to the question. Worst case, we'll uh, we'll get in. Um, we'll get Jaden Jaden in here real quick. Uh, e Evian has the program, so you can just reach out to me on message. My yeah, let's get uh, let's get Jaden in here. What's going on, Jaden? You good? Can hear me now? Yes, sir. All right. So I, I have a question. I just got off an injury to my foot. Yep. I was wondering maybe what are some workouts or some basketball drills I could do to combat that? What's the What's the leg injury or the foot injury? I pulled the muscle on the bottom of my foot, the balls of my feet. I pulled that. Okay, so like I, a lot of guys ask me about injuries um, and I'm not like, it's tough because I'm not a doctor and I don't want to give anyone the wrong yeah. advice when it comes to injuries. Uh, I had something like a sprained ankle. I've had a torn, um, what's the, what's, I had something on a tendon at the top of my foot torn and then I also had something on the bottom of my foot uh, very swelled up and stuff like that. So the number one thing you always need to do whenever it comes to one of these injuries is recover first. The hardest thing is to want to jump right back into it. Even my dad right now, he has an injury and he's super excited to hop back into stuff, but you need to like solve the issue first. And that might be the most yeah, hard. It's it's, it's the, the injury is soft. Yes, I'm done. You said what? It is fully healed. The injury is fully healed. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's already recovered. Okay. I was wondering some workouts to, you know, Okay, no, that's good then. The workouts to heal it, if it's fully healed, I would say get back yeah. onto um, get back onto whatever program you're following. Follow a system. If it's your foot, I would say massage it out with a lacrosse ball or something. Strengthen it and just strengthen your legs overall because a foot injury. Uh, 
Say, what would you say, player? Can I, can I, can I add on to that? Yeah, go ahead. Can I, can I, can I, can I kind of relate to that? Yeah, so I pretty much, my 7th grade year, like, my 7th grade year, I was actually able to, like, deduct my 7th grade year. And then, like, I would say, like, off-season, like, fracture my ankle. So, like, coming back into it, I would say the best thing you can do is, like, do, like, a lot of rehab. Like, I would say go on YouTube and, like, search up, like, like rehab workouts to, like, get your, like, ankle stronger. Because, like... That's what you need to be able to dunk. You gotta get your legs stronger. So I say do a bunch of like rehab workouts. You can really like use like a tennis ball under your feet, stuff like that. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, I got you, bro. Keep on going, keep on grinding. Everyone that pulled up to the Discord, I appreciate you guys for asking questions. Anyone who's on the YouTube video watching this Discord right now, join the Discord, links in the description below. Uh, every Sunday we're going live, we're answering your questions, we're doing a five to 10 minute podcast segment. But other than that, the time's yours. This is your time to become a demon, you know, get your mindset right, get your dunk tips right, get your nutrition right, whatever you need help with as an athlete to get more athletic. We got you here at Airvert, and like I said, every Sunday, 9.30, Eastern Standard Time will be on there. Thank you for tuning in. We'll be back next week with another video. We'll see y'all then.